One of London's rivers, the Fleet, running from Hampstead Heath to the Thames near Blackfriars Bridge, is now underground, allowing roads and buildings over its course. The valley is still evident along Farringdon Street, and these quaint alleys are reminders of the wharves that used to line the waterway. The planners buried the river from Holborn to Ludgate Circus in 1737, with the remainder culverted by 1769. This district's name, Holborn, is derived from Old Burn, being a previous term for this river. Victorian engineers embarked on a massive programme of works, improving access to the City of London and reclaiming land along the Thames to form the embankment. Part of this development was to provide a bridge over the Fleet Valley, allowing level access between the West End and the City. This 1869 bridge was designed by City Surveyor William Hayward. The viaduct is 428 metres long, 24.3 metres wide, constructed in ornate cast iron. It has three spans, supported by granite piers. The bridge is decorated with bronze statues, winged lions and replica Victorian-style globe lamps. It is within the City of London, as proclaimed by the City Arms. Two dragons support a white shield bearing a red cross with an upward-pointing sword in the first quarter, all topped by a helmet. The motto, Domine Dirige Nos, translates as Lord Directors. Queen Victoria opened the viaduct on the 6th of November, 1869, the same day as Blackfriars Bridge. It was a big event, with processions moving between the road and river bridges. The Queen's carriage stopped underneath so that she could admire its construction. The female statues on the south side represent here agriculture, and here commerce both by Henry Bursill. On the north side, we see fine arts. And science. This time by Farmer and Brindley. There are four step buildings allowing access from the viaduct to Farringdon Street below. However, only the two on the south side are original. The northern building suffered the attention of the Luftwaffe during the Second World War. The city replaced these with replicas, the northwest one in 1990s, followed by the northeast one in 2008. Each of the four step buildings features a famous medieval Londoner. Merchant Sir Thomas Gresham, 1519 to 1579, founded the Royal Exchange in the city. Engineer Sir Hugh Middleton, 1560 to 1631, headed the construction of the new river to bring clean water into London. Mayor Henry Fitz Aylwin, 1135 to 1212, was the first ever mayor of London. And London Mayor Sir William Walworth, who died in 1385, is notorious for killing Watt Tyler, leader of the Peasants' Revolt. Today, people cross the bridge with hardly a thought for its grandeur. I suppose that is testament to its simplicity beneath that riot of ornament. It affords a direct, straight course for the new road, as well as lasting legacy for the bravura of Victorian design and engineering. Watch more from Radio Jonophone.
subscribe to the channel. Enjoy.